Hi folks, this is Bill with Hot Rod Collection in the DFW area of North Texas. We have a great car for you here today, folks. This is a 1966 Chevrolet Corvette 427 four speed with the side pipes and a set of the knockoff and bolt on wheels, actually, uh, your choice. And what a great car in marina blue with a white interior, stunning car. Uh, first, let me tell you uh, how we normally do these videos is we'll do a good walk around for you to show you the exterior, a little bit of the interior and the engine from the top. And then after that, we'll show you the underside. We'll have it up on a rack so you can see everything really clearly. And then we will go ahead and do a driving video. So we'll take you for a ride and it'll be a lot of fun. So stick with us folks and let's go have a look at this wonderful, wonderful Corvette. All right, uh, looking at the front, you're gonna see how beautiful the paint is, the, the fit and the finish, the closeness of the panels aligned with each other, the gaps, everything is in good shape. And this beautiful chrome, it's just gleaming like brand new. Uh, again, this is a 66, so it's a, got the hideaway lights. In this particular car, it's interesting. We have the bolt-on wheels with the red line tires and the modern uh, radial rubber on it. However, if someone uh, prefers, we can swap these out for original set of the knockoff wheels that uh, would have come with this car in 1966. So uh, your choice on those. Right now, the bolt-on wheels are on it. And from this view, you can also see the side pipes on it. Those are just a perfect complement to the 427 and the four speed. There's nothing like putting the top down and going for a ride and listening to the side pipes roar. It's amazing, folks. Uh, again, uh, this one has the hood that uh, came with the big block cars, and this one being the 427, uh, and we have uh, 425 horsepower in this one, four speed, positive traction rear end, of course. Just take a look at this beautiful white interior here. Amazing, what a perfect complement to the blue out exterior. Um, like all these mid-year Corvettes, you'll see the full complement of gauges, and in the center, you have a clock. Uh, this particular one was optioned with the AM FM radio. Of course, the four speed. Uh, it's even got two sets of floor mats. Uh, this is the driving set. There's also a nice new set of floor mats that come with it as well. Again, the beautiful white upholstery. And let's take a look here. Um, we'll put the top up later for you, but we'll show you how easy this comes up for those of you that haven't had a mid-year Corvette. You reach under, there's a relief here, and it just pops right up, and you have a fully carpeted top compartment area. Of course, there's room to store things as well. White top with this is just absolutely fabulous. Gorgeous. So we'll show you a little bit later with the top up on this car. All right, let's close this easily, and let's take a look at the exterior. And shoot from the back, and you'll see just how nice this car is aligned, and just beautiful as you look down the sides. And then now, let's show you an interesting feature of the exterior. Um, you'll notice it's got uh, two lights on each side. One's the backup light, one's the combo stop and uh, turn signal uh, tail light. That's how they were, although a lot of people through the years have come up and asked me, well, I've seen so many with uh, three tail lights on each side. What's What year are those? And the answer is it's no year. <laughs> it was a, a lot of people, uh, uh, put those in themselves because they like the look of it. This one is still stock. It hasn't been cut for the third light on each side. So uh, you're looking the way it came from the factory. And while we're there, just take a look at the close of the bezels and the, the emblems and all the finish of the chrome and bright work is just gorgeous on this car. We're at the right rear corner of the car. And while we're here, let's look down the side of this one again you can see the straight body lines on this the beautiful finish this marina blue is really standing up tall with the white interior what a gorgeous combination this car is if you haven't ever driven a big block four-speed corvette with the top down and the side pipes you really owe it to yourself to hop in one of these and give it a try you probably won't want to get out they're a lot of fun um, unique to the 65 and 66 Corvettes are the three vertical vents in the front fenders. Um, it's hard to tell a 65 and a 66 apart, but there is a few differences. Of course, 
The 427 was available for the first time in 1966. So on this particular car, that's one of the, the giveaways. Okay, again, we're uh, gonna just take a quick look at the uh, red line tires on the uh, bolt-on wheels. Boy, what a good looking wheel package that is. Modern rubber there, those are radials, even though they look like the old uh, bias ply tires and they drive so much better with these uh, radials on them, of course. And uh, so next we're gonna walk around and show you the engine on this one. So let's go have a look. All right, I've released the hood and now let's lift it up, lock it in. Wow, look at that. That is one of the most beautiful 60s engine compartments of any car I've ever seen. It's got one of the most popular air cleaner styles. All the aftermarket companies copy that and it's hard to know when you have an original. That is an original to this type of motor. So uh, take a look how simple and clean this is. This car has manual steering, manual brakes, so it's very simple. You can see just how uncluttered and easy to get to everything is. Uh, it still has the shielding over the distributor. This was a standard feature to reduce the RF noise for the radio so you wouldn't get the static sound. Um, again, in the 60s, that was kind of a common thing with uh, the AM and FM radios having that problem. And this particular motor, uh, during the restoration by the previous owner, was uh, pulled out and it was exchanged for a 67 427. So this has a 67 427 Chevrolet motor in it. And uh, other than that, it's pretty correct. Um, most all the pieces like the valve covers, the air cleaner, even the intake manifold is the correct type for this, this type of motor. Um, up here, you can kind of see the little W uh, in that mark. It's the mark for the Winters Foundry, which indicates it's a factory manifold. Also cast into the manifold or the firing order of the engine. So those two things identify it as a factory GM manifold. Okay, from this angle, if you look over this direction, you can see the red box. That's an MSD 6AL uh, transistorized ignition. So that's a really nice upgrade. And folks, this particular car during the restoration, it's been updated with a few really, really nice items to make it you know, drive better and, and perform better. So the electronic ignition is a really nice feature. Um, even though it's not 100% correct in stock for this type of car, really a great feature for driving and, you know, it helps eliminate foul plugs and so many other things. Uh, when you see the underside uh, video, you're going to see that they put on a composite uh, monoleaf in the back. It saves weight, eliminates the rust issue with springs. So they've done a few things on it that have just been really, really nice complimentary upgrades to make this car run and drive really nice as a daily driver if that's how you want to operate it. Okay, so we're under the front here and right away you're going to notice this upgraded sway bar. It's bigger diameter and it's also matched to the rear. It has a rear sway bar as well that's been added. These cars do not come with a rear sway bar and so when people add the rear sway bar to get that better handling and much more of a feel like a late model car, then they'll also increase the front sway bar diameter at the same time, which this one has, it has a bigger diameter. So you really have a nice balanced feel in this car. And again, it's much more like a modern car. And particularly since they added the Bilstein shocks as well. So you have Bilstein shocks in all four corners. You've got front and rear sway bars, a little bit bigger diameter in the front. So you really have a nice driving car here. This car was really uh, restored nicely it, it, as a nice car to drive on a daily basis if you want to have a lot of fun put the top down hear the side pipes roar and get all the fun that a Corvette's supposed to be. Now for this shot you can see the original oil pan you've got the original iron manifolds on both sides and these uh, of course connect to the side exhaust and just beautiful and a beautiful sound so when you have a big block and a four speed and the side exhaust and the top down, there's just nothing better, folks. You really have to drive a car like this. And those of you that had, wow, there's just nothing like it. You're gonna enjoy it. And coming down a little bit further, you'll see the stock bell housing and the stock transmission. And since this car has the side pipes, of course, it doesn't have the original type of um, underbody uh, exhaust pipes running through the cross members. That's what these holes are for. The, 
exhaust pipes when it does not have the side pipes like this one does. So uh, this is the way it should be for this car. You can look up this way and you'll see the rear anti-swear bar added. And it's really a nice clean installation. The engineering on this is fabulous. You've got the end links with the bushings, just like the factory style in the front. And so this is a good match and a good balance for the ride and the handling, as we mentioned. So with the monoleaf and the uh, front and rear sway bars and the Bilsteins, this car really handles nicely. So well, you'll see in the Dragon video how much fun it is. Here we are in the Corvette, the 66 427 four-speed Roadster. We got the keys, let's take it for a ride.